Virgo, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 28th of April. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and my time to shine oracle. So starting off with the tarot cards, your overall energy, the 10 of teacups is lovely. This is happy home life. This is emotional fulfilment. This is spending time with loved ones. This is the happy ever after card. Absolutely beautiful. Your help or your hurdle. The three of coins comes in and this is all about teamwork, making the dream work. Everybody bringing their expertise to the team for the benefit of everybody else. And when everybody works together, that's where the success can be found. What do you need to focus on? Being assertive. Now here we have, look, a lovely angel and she's so close to success. But between her and success is a closed gate and some grumpy sheep. She needs to walk through those to get to where she's going and she needs to be kind, but she also needs to be assertive. So using those two qualities together will get you a lot further, a lot faster. How can you help yourself? The Ace of Pencils is lovely. This is something new. This Ace of Pencils brings in clarity and new ideas, new ways of doing things. Look, she's worked out by getting things. She's missed the target, look, with the first few goes. But now she's hit the bullseye because she's worked out how to do it. So this is clarity coming in. If things have felt a little bit uncertain, this is the clarity. This is the new information, new ways of doing things. This is what you've been waiting for. Pulling it all together, the king of pencils steps in. Now the kings are authority figures in the deck. The king of pencils is very clear thinking, very logical very grounded, very down to earth, very well educated in complex paperwork. So it might be a legal issue. It might be the small print in a lot of financial papers. It might be the small print of a new job contract. This King of Pencils comes in with the professional advice if you need to take some to help you with all of that complex paperwork. This could also be you stepping up into this role of advisor, mentor, teacher, helping other people. And your outcome is lovely. The Knight of Wands, the Knights are all fast moving energy and the Knight of Wands, they all have a motorcycle, motorbike. And the Knight of Wands has the fastest one comes charging in, saying, think it through and act with care. So things could happen very quickly, lots going on all at once, things that uh, may require you to make choices and decisions. Absolutely fine. Just take your time, think it through, be assertive. This clarity is coming in. This is where this king of pencils can come in with the information that you've been waiting for. The overall energy is lovely. It's happy home life, happy family life. Um, and working as a team, working together, talking things over to get things moving forward and move forward they will really quite quickly. So we need some clarity on all of this. We've got a lovely half a reading and we need a little bit more clarity especially on this Knight of Wands and King of Pencils card. Oops, here we are. That's it. Right, I'll put them all out and then we'll talk about them. Oh, this is looking good. Seven of wisdom, six of wisdom, ten of thought. Lovely. Right. So overall energy. The five of life says so stay positive. Focus on what you do have. 
ask for any help if you need it. This is a card that says focus on your strengths. So on the card, look, she's so busy looking at this empty biscuit tin. She hasn't realised there's a full one in her other hand. So it's a temporary sense of lack. But you don't need to do that because you know this card says know that you have all the resources that you need. Your help or your hurdle. Here we are. Same card, different deck, double message. Being a good team member, working together, being brilliant at what you do. Teamwork, making the dream work, literally, double message. The one of action comes next in what you need to focus on. This is enjoying an exciting new opportunity. Take action, go for it. This is what this Knight of Wands could be bringing in. Something new, a chance to do something different. And it just says, think it through. Don't be hasty or make any rushed or rash decisions. But here's the golden opportunity and you need to be ready to move forward with that. I've literally said move forward. The next card is this seven of wisdom, the chariot card, which is all about making your move forward with balance and with discipline. Literally what I've just said here. So when things get busy, things coming in fast, lots to consider, wonderful opportunities. Yes, this card says make your move. This is the momentum you've been waiting for. This is the success that you've been waiting for. Just go steady. Think it through first. Make wise and sensible choices. This is the pulling it all together part of the reading. The six of wisdom is the lover's card. And this is about choices and decisions. It says time to make choices and decisions carefully with love. Choose what feels right. Choose what makes you happy. Choose what you would really like to do. And it's also enjoying new partnerships coming in. And then expect the situation to improve. This ten of thought has come through on nearly all of the other readings so far. Time to move on, be happy and enjoy things as they get better. So a much improved situation. So looking at your cards overall. The Happy Ever After card, a much improved situation, working as part of a team, everybody helping each other, clarity coming in, new ideas coming in, taking advice if you need to or giving sound, well thought out advice on complex paperwork. Be assertive if you need to be and when you need to be. Focus on your strengths because this movement forward is coming. It could happen quite quickly. A wonderful opportunity for you, perhaps on something that you've been hoping for and working towards. Think it through. Do what you've always wanted to do. Do what makes you happy and then get ready to climb this staircase of success. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing and liking. That really does support my channel and I'm truly grateful for that. So look after yourselves. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.